Hey guys, this is Steve from the Tech Buzz, and today I want to show you how to get CoinOps working on a single flash drive. Now, yesterday I did a tutorial and you guys watched it, and some of you guys were really reserved about using multiple flash drives, but at the time that was all that we knew that we could do. But there has been a few guys that did test when uh, it was presented that we should be able to do this, but it wasn't thoroughly tested. Elvis Vasquez, um, you'll see him in a comment on my YouTube video, as well as um, Nathan Foster put together a instructional, a PDF that I'm gonna include that you can download from a Dropbox. that will be in the video description if you want to step-by-step -step with the actual screenshots of how to do this. I'm gonna demonstrate this for you right now. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna be on Windows 10. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click on my PC inside of the Explorer and click Manage. Once you've done that, you're gonna be presented with the computer management. You wanna come down here where it says Disk Management under Storage on the left. There you're going to see your removable disk. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the unallocated and what you're gonna to have to do is delete it. I deleted it right before this. So you're just gonna right click, delete it. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna look like this. It's gonna have lines through it. Uh, once you've done that, you're going to right click on it again and you're gonna click new simple volume and you're presented with this wizard. So we're gonna click next. Now, the first thing it's gonna ask is what do you want to allocate your uh, maximum uh, and minimum sizes. So the maximum disk space is 117,158. So what we wanna do is, what, or what I'm gonna do is I have a 128 gig drive here. I'm gonna change this to, um, I want it 16 gigs as one partition and that's gonna be for the application. Six, three, eight, four, and then I'm going to click next, and we're going to assign a, a drive letter to it. Um, so what we want to do here is, um, uh, I guess we'll have that as E because I'll do F as the next one. So we're going to click next, and then it's going to ask you format this drive to the following settings. So what we want to do is we want to change this to FAT32. And then what we want to keep is default and volume label. Um, we could just leave it as new volume. It doesn't have to be changed. So we're going to do quick format. And then what we're going to do is um, click finish. And now, as you can see, there's a new volume E and then there's unallocated space on the next. So it's currently in use. Yep. So we're going to click OK. So what we want to do is we're going to do the same thing on this this volume, right? So we're going to right click, we're going to do new simple volume, and we're going to go through the same steps that we just did. But except we don't want to change this. So we've got 16 gigs that's going to be formatted in Legends Ultimate, which I'm going to show you. And the other 98.41 gigabytes is going to be used for your coin ops, uh, ROMs and stuff. So we're going to click next. And we're gonna assign it F because that's the next drive letter. If we have to put it back in our machine, we can access that to add and take away ROMs. And we're gonna hit next. And here, what we're gonna do is we want to choose XFAT as the format option. And obviously, that's the only option there is besides NTFS. But FAT32 and XFAT is what the machine is required. So we can leave this as default as a new volume. I'm actually gonna call it at games that's what I want to call it and that's where I'm gonna put all my stuff so I'm gonna click next and I'm gonna click finish so now what you're gonna see here right after it's done you're gonna see I have the EFI the EFI system partition has to be there because that's um, basically tells the machine what the thumb drive is gonna do and at least with my thumb drive you you might be able to just right click on it and delete it but um, it's not a big deal for me so you have your new volume. So now what's gonna happen is when we stick this in the Legends Ultimate, this, this is the area that's gonna get formatted. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna transfer all of our coin op stuff to this drive. So 
let's leave this open. I'm going to come over here and under my hold folder. I always create a hold folder and then I have at games flash drive. So what I'm going to do is this is all the stuff I dumped off of this. This is all my point op stuff. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select all this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it to my F drive, which is now my coin ops UCE drive. And what we're going to do is I'm obviously not going to sit here with the video running for 600 or excuse me, 6,579 items. So I'm going to come back after this is completed and we'll switch over to the legends ultimate so you can see what to do next okay guys we're just about at 100 uh, percent here and then uh, we're gonna go back over it took a bit of time i had a lot of files that had to go over and again i just want to specify while this is finishing up here that each one of these thumb drives are encrypted for that particular device so what that means is if you are putting this into your legends and you're going to set up coin coin ops x on your legends ultimate you can't take that out and then put it into the uh, legends gamer or the gamer pro it's, it, it's not going to work you'd have to format that first partition again inside of your legends ultimate so if you're like me you probably have multiple thumb drives in each of your devices so it really shouldn't be a problem but i just wanted to put that out to you so as you can see, the thumb drive is full. So what we're going to do now is we are going to eject it. Um, I usually just right click on it and hit eject and it ejects it. And now we're gonna go over to the Legends Ultimate and put the thumb drive in. Okay, so now we're over on the Legends Ultimate and I'm putting my low profile thumb drive in and it's right next to my switcher for the HDMI. And as you can see in the Legends, it is now showing that the USB stick is in so we're gonna arrow over to settings and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to flash drive X and much like the tutorial that I did yesterday this is about the same way so we're gonna click a and we're gonna format it it's gonna say that we're gonna format it so all it's doing is formatting the first partition of this and once it for it formats that 16 gig then what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount it mount it and now that it's mounted so as you can see it's only using uh, two meg used I mean essentially we could probably put all the other ones on but um, so now we're gonna go up to the App Store X come down and now we're gonna install coin ops on it are you sure you want to install it I am absolutely sure so we're gonna install it here and now we are going to launch the application and just like that your your uh, coin ops x will launch here and you'll have all your games just like they were and you'll be good to go here let me turn the volume down <laughs> i don't know if it's bleeding over but it, guys that that's it i mean that's that's as simple as that and you can use a single thumb drive and there's no need anymore to have multiple thumb drives i hope you found this helpful please hit that like please subscribe again i'm really trying to get more and more subscribers and listen join the join the channel if you want to learn more about video production you want to learn more about any types of things a dollar 99 as a rookie you can get in we're going to do zoom um, get togethers where i work with the people that are backing the channel to help you create better content all right guys until next time keep it buzzing